What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have another maintenance video to do. Now, I, I know you guys are wondering like, where's, where's the performance parts? Where's the bolt-ons? Where's all the cool stuff? It's coming. Promise it's coming. Just need to get the car to a little bit better of a standing and then we can send it on the parts. So, if this works out the way I want it, we have kind of a surprise that works out. Yeah, benefit towards us. So, without further ado, let's get moving. Cold start, cold weather. We have plans for that one coming, I promise. Never start the adventure without a coffee. All right, let's get it. All right, so we just made it to the shop and I'm gonna go inside and see if I'm allowed to film because it's not my shop. Other than that, it just opened back up because of the whole apocalypse going on. So I'm gonna go inside, ask a couple questions. I'll see you guys hopefully inside. All right, peace. All right, so I went in, talked to the owner. He said it's totally fine for me filming. So we now have a shop at our disposal. Awesome. All right, let's go take a look inside. All right, so we made it to the shop. We got our own bay. Now, this place is equipped with everything we need. We have lifts, we have jack stands, we have tools, we have everything. We have alignment machines, we have our own workstations. Now, it's a shop where people can come and work on their personal cars. I mean, if they're automotively inclined. But you can bring your all your stuff here and just work on your car. So, we're going to be changing my oil today, because God knows she needs it. So, let's get started. I can believe we got the personal plate. So, we need this. So, safety first. So, the things you're going to need for this are... Oil, oil fil filler, gloves to protect yourself from oil. Uh, oil filter, we opted for the K&N one because you know, that adds horsepower. Some gloves to clean up your mess. Some engine degreaser to get rid of the oil from pesky areas. A new oil drain plug bolt with a crush washer. You definitely need that. That's about it. Let's get started. All right, so when changing your oil, there's two areas, or three if you consider Google, where you can check to see what kind of oil you need. You can either consult your owner's manual or you can come right over here to the oil filler cap. And we need 5W30. Which means we got the right oil. So, let's jack the car up, start draining it. 
Oh, it's on a side note. You want to take this off before you start draining it because it'll flow a lot easier. Take that off. Ew. That's gross. We're gonna put it right. Right there. Oh, right there. So we got everything lined up with the pinch welds. I'm gonna jack it up and see how it does. Pray to God it doesn't fall. Safety first. All right, now that we have the car locked and underneath, we're gonna figure out which one's the oil pan. So, the engine block is here, oil pan's here. Anything further back is gonna be trans or, oh, there it is. Here's the transmission. Well, the transmission filler bolt, sorry. This is my oil pan, and this is my oil bolt, and that's my oil filter. So everything's right in the area, very close together. As you can see, I'm leaking oil, and it doesn't look pretty. So, we know it's leaking from here. Anywhere else, you can visually inspect right around here, around the oil pan. You can see the gasket is holding really well because there is no oil leaking out from the gasket. So I'm gonna go get the oil, the thing you drain oil into. Oil, it looks weird. If you guys think of a name for it, I don't know what the hell to call it. Oil dump tube thing, pan. I'm gonna go grab that. Bite. Technically dealing with a hazardous chemical, it's really bad for the environment, it's really bad for your skin. So try to wear gloves. Alright, so we're privy to a bunch of tools, so I have a bunch of things you guys probably aren't going to have. Like this oil uh, dump thing. So we're gonna find out what socket size that is, probably a 10 or a 12. We're gonna take that off and drain it out. All right, let's get it. Oof. 
Okay, so I'm a really tall person, but I didn't even put pressure on this socket and it's already coming out. Oh man, that's bad. All right, we're gonna try and do this one-handed. All right, we're gonna set that right there. And then, even though we're replacing this and we have gloves on. So a trick to getting this off without getting oil all over your fingers is you apply pressure to it. And it should come out nice and smoothly and not leak oil everywhere, but... Okay, it's starting to come out. Here we go. It's a money shot. Oh! Ooh. That's good. That's good. I don't know. It's kind of dark, but oil's black and disgusting. And it's draining inside. So we're gonna let that drain, and then we're gonna take off the oil filter after that's done. So let's go take a look. Okay, upon further inspection, this was hand tight on my oil pan. This is the drain plug. This is what keeps all the oil inside, and this was hand tight. All right, let's get the oil filter off. All right, this one should be hand tight too, but this is a little bit different. This is just held on by pressure. So this is the oil filter. This is what makes sure that all, all that stuff and junk and build up. Okay, yeah, that's still loose ish that's why we wear our gloves <laughs> it's leaking it's okay gloves they're our friend we can get oil on our hands it's okay I wish we could cut this thing open This is why you wear gloves. This is going to happen. There are a bunch of different oil filters out there and like locations or reroute kits, like the FRS, the oil filters on top of the motor. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're just gonna set that inside there. We're gonna let that drain off. We're gonna clean up the area. We're gonna clean up this area and then we're gonna, oh boy. Oh, so far no metal shavings that I know of. Yeah, this is why you wear gloves. Alright. Alright, that's still technically draining. So this car has about 5.7 quarts inside the block. So, hopefully that's what's in there, but that's what we're going to put in there after I clean up all the old oil. So the benefits of changing your oil. So oil is supposed to coat the internals of your motor while it's, you know, working hard getting you from place point A to point B. And if it has bad oil and it's burnt, it's old and it's like sludgy, it doesn't perform as well as it should. It's not as efficient, I should say. And it's good to change your oil so it has all that fresh, brand new goodness inside of it to make sure your motor is happy. Oh, that's still draining off. So, it's, it's not... Okay, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. It's, it's, it's used motor oil. That's, that's what you expect, right? All right, so my oil filter sits like this. Some people's oil filter sits like this, or this, or this. It's all different kinds of angles, but since mine is straight up and down, I have to pre-stage this with oil to make sure that when it kicks over and it's cycling, that there's oil already in the filter, so there's no dry area for the car to pump oil into. It's already there, so it can properly cycle through good to do this it just makes it you know it's healthier all right well got it all right so that's 
what a brand new clean oil filter looks like. Yeah, dump some oil in it. You wanna get a new little bit of fresh oil on your finger and put it right around the rim of it. That's a good mating surface. You don't have to douse it in oil. Just make sure you get it coated. I'm gonna go put this in. All right, we're gonna take our new filter, put it on where the old filter goes, and tighten it down by hand. So I'm gonna get it on there, like, threaded. You'll be able to see it starting to go up. And then, sweet. So this is something you just want hand tight as well. A couple Ugga Dugs, you know. You don't want it too tight, it could get seized on there. But that's why K&N's nice, because they have this like little bolt here where you can, makes it super easy to get off. So we're just gonna get it right on there. Pretty snug. And get the new bolt for this, put it in, the new crush washer, we should be good. Yeah. Old shitty one with bad crush washer. Brand new one with new crush washer. Yay! Alright, let's put it in. Alright, as you can see, it's still kind of leaking out, but we're going to put this in there. Yeah, tighten it down by hand, then we're going to clean everything off. Tighten that bad boy up. Sounds nice. All right, see, it's in there. There's a crush washer doing its job. So, let me go get socket for it. Okay, sweet, that one works. All right, hold on a second, let me get this out of the way. All right, so, you don't want it too tight because you don't want to strip it, it's just an oil pan, it's very thin metal. So, we're gonna tighten it down. It's gonna give a little, little ugga dug. I'm gonna make sure that's tight. That's tight. Now we can drop it and put oil on it. All right, now that you've taken all the old stuff out, you get to put the new stuff in. So everything's tight, everything's in order, it's not leaking that we know of. We'll probably check that in a couple of days. We're gonna grab the new stuff, we're gonna put it inside. All right, be right back. Okay, all right. So we have our filler, put that right here. All right, so we want a Castrol Edge. I think it's a good quality product. So this, this motor takes 5.7 quarts. So this is five quarts and this is one. So we're just gonna need a little over half on this. And then we'll check the dipstick and see what that says. So hopefully we have enough. Look how golden that is. Look at that, it was black before, now look at that. A straight liquid gold. That's what that car needs. All of the liquid gold. It's 
so we did put oil in the oil filter. So what we have left in here, you can see on the measurements on the side, we have still almost pretty much a full container, 750 milliliters or three fourths of a quart. So I'm gonna put some of this in. We're gonna check the dipstick. Alright, so we're gonna pull this out. Check, we're gonna clean it. Is it still coated from driving it previously? We're gonna put it back in and check where the level's at. If it needs more oil, we'll dump more oil in. If it needs less oil, it'll probably burn it off, hopefully. Okay, you can't see it, but I can. And we're full. We're actually past full. Check it one more time for good measure. There's two marks on it, full and low. The full is over here, as you can clearly tell. And you stick that down into the oil pan. And so it measures how much oil is in the oil pan. Pull it out, check. Yep, we're full. It won't take no more. Yeah, it went right up to that little F mark, actually a little bit above it too, so that's fine. Shouldn't hurt anything. And once it cycles through the entire car and oil gets where it sits, it should be perfect. So I'm going to take this off. Oil filler cap. Oh, that's nice. It's no clipping effect. We're done. All right, back over here, we uh, got all the new oil in it. We're gonna fire it up and get out of here. But first, we gotta put all this away. So, ta-da! All right, so we're gonna keep this on hand just for the next couple of days, because there is a little bit left in there. We wanna make sure that after it cycles, the level is nice, like right, right at the fill line. That's what we're chasing for. So after I drive it for a little bit, we'll check the level again. We'll see where we're at. Other than that, we're all done in the shop. I can't wait. This is actually a pretty nice place. I, I have my own workstation. I have my own lift. I, I'm, I'm going to utilize this place a lot. So let's get in the car. Let's fire it up. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of their hair. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're out of the shop. So a light did come on that said I was low on oil, but it went away after the whole oil or all the oil cycled through the car. So a little light went on, disappeared once it knew we had enough oil. So we're going to go get gas and then we're going to check the oil there to make sure that the level's good. We don't have any leaks, nothing. We're going to check over what we did and uh, yeah, I guess job well done. So I guess I'll see you in five minutes. Yeah. All right, we made it to the gas station. Our car didn't blow up. Now let's check to see what the engine oil is. Let's pull the dipstick out. We're gonna clean it off real quick. We're gonna think with your dipstick, Jimmy. Oh, it's warm. Put it back in for accurate measurement. We are right at the fill line, so we are perfect. We're golden. Now put that back. Check under the car, see if anything's leaking. That's a wrap. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all the support I've been getting about this. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And you guys have a wonderful day. Take it easy.